Hi, I'm Mike Muneer, President and CEO of the Pacific Salmon Foundation. This series on climate change is all about what we're doing at the Salmon Foundation with our indigenous and community partners to help wild salmon adapt, doing everything we can to make sure that our wild salmon have a strong and sustainable future. We hope you'll learn something from this series and hopefully choose to get more involved. Thank you. Freshet is a natural process in the spring when the river levels come up due to snow melt, and it's changing because of climate change. On the mighty Fraser River, high, fast-flowing waters are a sure sign that the spring freshet is underway, taking some of its smallest inhabitants on a rough ride on their journey to the ocean. That's a juvenile Chinook salmon. It's here, in the Fraser's relatively calm side channels, that these young, delicate salmon find refuge, and where the Pacific Salmon Foundation and its partners are learning all they can about the importance of such places. I'm taking a tiny little piece of the fin, and they will be able to tell us where in the Fraser River this fish came from. Because the currents are high, it's also carrying a lot of sand and sediment. So which is, you know, very abrasive on gills. So the fish try and get off the main channel. They come here for another reason as well, food. When vegetated areas flood, you, know, you think of all of the spiders and the ants and all the, the terrestrial insects that are on those plants suddenly become available to fish. These seasonally flooded habitats are vital for the growing young fish. So the fact that they're becoming increasingly rare due to land development and dikes is a concern. Inspired by the lessons of his grandfather, Kelsey Ned, a Sumas First Nation fisherman, is eager to help save these fish. The biggest thing they've taught me about is traditionally is giving back to what we take. And this is why we're out here doing these studies for juvenile salmon. The quest for solutions is more important than ever because climate change is changing freshet. Freshet is coming sometimes more intensely, sometimes lasting longer. The snow is melting faster and things like that. So the natural patterns are changing from what the ecosystems have evolved to be adapted to. The Pacific Salmon Foundation wants to learn more about these special habitats for several reasons. To educate people about their importance. And to develop conservation plans and management plans so that we can live sustainably with our salmon. Well, thanks for connecting. And we're grateful to all of our partners across British Columbia who help the Pacific Salmon Foundation do everything we can to sustain our wild Pacific salmon. We're salmon first, salmon always, and we never go it alone. Thank you.